Hello, our names are Nicole Tacken and Serene Stewart. We are second year occupational therapy students at McMaster University. Our study title is Tell Me About Opioid and Cannabis Use for Pain, a Qualitative Story Completion Study. We are completing the study with our research team, which includes Dr. Tara Packham, Dr. Evelyn DeRoche, Martha Bauer, and Colleen O'Neill, who are all occupational therapists and researchers at McMaster University School of Rehabilitation Science, and we are excited to present some of the early results. We thought it was important to complete this research because one in five Canadians live with pain and because chronic pain is a costly problem, both in direct and indirect annual health expenditures. In recent decades, high rates of opioid prescription precipitated increasing rates of addiction and overdose, now referred to as the opioid crisis. The association with addiction results in stigma for those using opioids for pain management. At the same time, cannabinoids have transitioned in recent years from a non-sanctioned substance to a medically approved alternative to opioids for chronic pain management. There are still divergent opinions, however, about the risk of addiction and other adverse effects related to cannabis, as well as limited strong evidence to support the use of cannabis for chronic pain. There is a lack of evidence exploring how health and social care professionals, including occupational therapists, view various medications for chronic pain management and how these might influence overall pain management approaches for clients referred for occupational therapy. Therefore, our primary research question is, what are the perceptions and beliefs of Canadian occupational therapists about opioid and cannabis use for chronic pain? And our secondary research question is, how do beliefs about the pharmacological management of pain influence occupational therapy practice? To explore these questions, we're using an online survey platform to connect a cross-sectional story completion study with practicing Canadian occupational therapists. Story completion is a relatively novel method enabling an investigation of social discourses which participants are asked to reflect about and describe their experiences. We are actively recruiting participants using a multifaceted sampling strategy, incorporating the use of organizational mailing lists, social media, and snowball sampling. The survey is available in both English and French. Both links are included in the slide and again at the end of the presentation. The survey includes questions about participants' demographic information and provides participants with a writing prompt about a new client referred to occupational therapy, which gives them the opportunity to complete the story. However, participants are blinded to the random assignment of the client's current medication regime as either opioids, cannabis, or gabapentin, with the latter intended to be a neutral option. We're aiming to recruit a minimum of 60 participants to obtain a variety of perspectives. To date, we have approximately 30 completed surveys Completed stories are being analyzed using descriptive thematic analysis as described by Braun and Clark. You can find on this slide the story prompt and participant sample story. We have noticed that participants tend to describe the general therapeutic process as well as just a description of the client's thoughts and feelings throughout the process. Participants often include that other treatments have not been helpful and that the client is unsure what occupational therapy has to offer. A pattern that we are noticing in the early stages of the analysis is that there may be a tendency for cannabis to be described as useful for clients, either for their pain directly or for other aspects such as sleep. There's no mention of changing cannabis dosage, whereas with opioids or opioid use, we have noticed a pattern where a focus of treatment includes reducing medication use, and when clients are using gabapentin, it is not part of the story. Additionally, the client in the story was strategically given a gender neutral name to provide the opportunity to consider potential patterns in associating opioid or cannabis use with a particular gender. Thus far, we have seen that the client, or the client is most often described as female overall and especially in association with opioid use. This study can inform our understanding of perspectives and potential stigma related to the use of cannabis and what knowledge gaps may need to be addressed in relation to treatments by occupational therapists or other health and social care professionals for chronic pain management. We will also consider how the use of story completion methods enable us to explore individuals' perspectives. Finally, we may identify patterns and discrepancies related to social determinants of health that may create an opportunity for fu future research in relation to occupational therapy, as well as health and social care practice in relation to chronic pain management. Thank you for listening to our presentation. For more information about the study, you can contact Dr. Tara Packham by email. And to participate in the study, you can do so through the links provided on the slide.